Okay. <laughs> All right. Praise God. Well, welcome everybody. Good morning. Happy Sunday morning to you. And uh, Feliz, uh, excuse me, happy Labor Day to you. Mm -hmm. It's a long, wonderful weekend for you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Feliz Domingo por la mañana y Feliz Día del Trabajo, Feliz Día del Trabajador. Amen. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. Amen. Also, we want to welcome all those of you that are joining us by audio or video. Uh, bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio o video. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Y siempre ten, tiene algo. Amen. He always has something for us. Yes. Amen. We just got to be ready yeah. and participators and have faith. Amen. We're going to be talking about getting close to Him today. Amen. Amen. On a daily basis, we should be getting closer and, and closer to Him all the time. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. He's done his part. We got to do our part. Amen. So, hallelujah. Praise God. So, prepare yourselves to receive. Grab your Bibles. And let's get going. Amen. Let's say it like you mean in church. Amen. Yes. This is my Bible. I have what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I wrote this a while back. And I've been, actually, I've got it on my notes today. But we are to grow and mature. We're to grow, glow, and go for Jesus. Amen. Yeah. That's awesome. We, we've uh, talked about letting your light shine for him. Mm -hmm. So we're to glow for him. Amen. So Amen. grow, glow, and go for Jesus. Amen. Amen. And that means you. Amen. Point yourself. Point at yourself just like this. And just say, that's me. That's me. Amen. That's me. That's you. Yeah. Praise God. And you put your name there. And we tell you all the time to mark your Bible. Personalize your Bible. Because he's talking to you. Amen. He's, if, if you're listening and you're receiving, then that's you. Amen. So praise God. Yes, I'm excited. I don't know about you. But uh, I want to get closer to him. Yes. Since the Lord... Jesus Christ wants us to be fully confident in Him. Amen. He wants us to fully trust Him, have full faith in Him. Uh -huh. Amen. So we need to do this. And how do you do that? It's called relationship. Amen. When you grow close to Him, you're growing and you're maturing and you're glowing because, you know, hey, the Bible says that out of your innermost being shall flow rivers, rivers. of living water. Uh -huh. Your light is shining. As long as you stay connected and close to Him, you know, not just close, but connected to Him, you know, you're going to grow and glow and go for Him. He wants you to go. He doesn't want you to just sit and do nothing. He wants you to be a participator and not just a, a spectator, which most wants to do. When you're a spectator, you, you start to judge and you start to say things and do nothing. You know, you find the fault quickly. Nobody's perfect. Just remember that. If somebody told you something, it's okay. You're not perfect. That's right. You got to be careful. If you're offended and you just stop for Jesus because somebody hurt you, somebody offended you, it's time to put that aside. You know, yes. know what the word says, not what people say. So and so says, it's time to get yourself right with God. Amen. Get close to God and press on and do what yes. he's called you to do. Because he's called every one of us. And he wants us to be participators, yeah. not spectators. Amen? Mm -hmm. So, Lord Jesus Christ wants us to be fully confident in him. How am I going to be fully confident in him? By knowing what his word says. Yes. By having relationships, spending yes. time with him. I can trust him. Amen? I can have faith in him. Praise God. Yes. And know what somebody else says. It's going to throw you off course. You know, and, and you're going to stay off course for... 5, 10, 15 years, 20 years, and not do anything because somebody says something. Well, it didn't line up with the Word of God. You know, right now, no, if it doesn't line up with the Word of God, uh -huh. just throw it aside. That's it. Don't receive. Amen. Just let it go. Yes. Delete, delete, delete. Yes. <laughs> James 4 and 8. Let's go there. We use the Word of God. That's what we're here for. Amen. <laughs> use this Word, James 4 and 8. In the New Testament, that's a good, that's a good place to be. James, chapter four, verse eight. Are you there? Yes. 
Oh, God. James. Well, I'm James. not. <laughs> James 4 and 8. Yeah, yeah, James 4 and 8. And I'm going to tell you where it said it's right before Peter for 1 and 2. Okay. James 4 and 8 says what? Well, let's start at verse 7. <laughs> it says what? Submit, Submit yourself. Submit yourself, say, for the God resist the devil, and he will do what? Flee. He'll flee from you. So you know what? As a child of God, you got the word in you. Uh -huh. And you don't hold the word. You speak the word. Yeah. And you release the word. And when you start doing these things, the enemy all of a sudden sees that you're maturing, and you're using the word, and he's going to be afraid. Mm -hmm. Amen? He's going to be afraid of you. Submit, your, submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, he will flee from you. Now, this is what we're talking about. This is our text here. Draw nigh to God, and he will what? Draw nigh, nigh to you. you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double trouble. Huh. The, right. at, excuse me? Double-minded. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> the Amplified says, come close to God, and he will come close to you. Uh -huh. Recognize that you are a sinner, Get your soiled hands clean. Realize that you have been uh, disloyal, uh, wavering individuals with divided interests. Mm -hmm. And purify your hearts of your spiritual adultery. Ooh, hallelujah, man. This amplifier just lets you, lets you have it. Amen. Let me read it to you from uh, King James. I mean, the... Uh, New Living Translation says, Come close to God and He will come close to you. Yeah. Wash your hands, you sinner. Clean up your heart. You who want to follow the sinner, sinner's way, sinful oh. way of the world and God at the same time. Yeah. You can't have two masters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have one master. Amen. Yeah. And His name is Jesus. Yes. Amen. So we can't be double-minded. We got to, as a matter of fact, He tells us, the battlefield is the mind. Yes. So we got to renew our mind right. with the Word of God. Yeah. If you're not thinking that way, it's time that you do. Yes. Get in the Word. Renew your mind with the Word of God because the battlefield is the mind. And the enemy is going to use it. And he's going to use people to come and attack that mind. And you're always, the mind's always going. Uh -huh. Amen. But you got to remember what the Word of God says. So you focus on what the Word says. Feed your spirit, man, the Word of God. Renew your mind with the Word of God. And your mind, your flesh is going to follow what the Word of God says. Amen. Ooh. Praise God. So when things get bad, when things uh, start, uh, when things are, are going bad, when things uh, start to get bad, I'm going to read mm -hmm. you something. Mm -hmm. It was further down in, in the message, but I'll read it now. Difficult times will come. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> a coronavirus or whatever else is coming in the future. Let me read this to you, and you can mark this down. Mm -hmm. Just write it down. It says Second Timothy chapter three verses one through seven. Second Timothy chapter three verses one through seven. Uh -huh. Difficult times will come. Yes. So warning. <laughs> Don't be surprised when you hear these things. Yeah. Amen. Because you already heard, you already read them. Yes. So be prepared and uh, do what God has called us to do. Amen. But understand this: that in in the last days dangerous times of great stress and troubles will come yes. difficult days that will be hard to bear mm -hmm. for people will be lovers of self yeah amen self-focused lovers of money right. impaled by greed boastful arrogant reveling uh disobedient to parents ungrateful unholy profane and they will be unloving Devoid, de devoted, devoid of natural human affections, callous and inhumane, <laughs> irreconcilable, malice, malicious gossips, devoid of self-control, <laughs> immoral, br uh, brutal, haters of good, traitors, reckless, conceited, lovers of... Uh, Sense, sense, sensuals, uh, pleasures rather than uh, love of God, holding to uh, some form of outward godliness, religion, <laughs> although they have uh, denied its power, for their conduct nullifies their claim of faith. Avoid such people and keep far from, from them, 
For among them are those who worm their ways into homes and captives, more weak and weak and uh, spiritual dwarfs, women weighted down by the burdens of their sins, easily swayed by uh, various impulses, always learning and listening to anybody who will teach them, but never able to come to knowledge of the truth. Right. Difficult times are coming. Mm -hmm. It is in the Bible. So don't be alarmed when you see these difficult times, you know? Mm -hmm. And listen, go to the Word and find out what the Word of God says. Yes. You don't just have to hear it from somebody else. Right. And then it throws you off course and don't know what to do. The Bible tells you how to deal with these things. Amen. Yes. The Bible says you can do all things through all Christ things. who strengthens you. Yeah. Amen. It says the greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Mm -hmm. So guess what? The greater one is in you. And difficult times are coming. But guess what? When things get tough, the tough get going. Yeah. That's us. Yeah. Amen. Believers. <laughs> Amen. Not kick back or sit yeah. back or do nothing. Right. Participate. Step out in faith. Yes. Say, praise God. I'm going to do what God has called me to do. No matter how difficult things are, He is in control. Uh -huh. You're in control. Amen. Because God is with you. Amen. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. That's right. And you know what? I just read to you. Get close to Him and He'll co get close to you. Yes. Draw close to Him. He'll draw close to you. So let's, let's keep going. When things are going bad, one place to turn for help and guidance, of course, is your heavenly Savior, your, your loving Savior. Yes. Amen. Your heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. I turn to Him. Well, we're going to find out a little more about that. Help comes to those hurting and seeking Him. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Help comes to those that are seeking Him. Mm -hmm. Are you seeking Him? Or are you just flowing with what the world has? Mm -hmm. Are you just flowing with the bad news? Yeah. Amen. It's time to get into the good news so we Amen. can go out and spread the good news of God. Amen. Yes, Praise you. God. It says, help comes to those that are hurting. Help comes to those that are seeking Him. So be seekers of Him. Yes. Not seekers of pleasure. Not seekers of the world. Not seekers right. of bad news. Amen. Matthew 11, 28 and 30 says this. Come to me, all you that labor and the heavy laden. And what? I will give you rest. Mm -hmm. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart. Mm -hmm. And you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. Let me read it to you from the easy to read version so you can understand now. <laughs> Come to me all you that are tired and have heavy burdens. And you will find who have been forced to carry. Mm -hmm. I will give you rest. <clears throat> Accept my teachings. Learn from me. I am gentle and humble in spirit. And you will be able to get some rest. Mm -hmm. Yes, the teachings that I ask you to accept is easy. And the load I give you is light. Mm -hmm. Amen. Understand this. <coughs> Understand this, church. Amen. First Peter 5, 6 and 8. We all know this. Therefore, humble yourselves unto the mighty hand of God, that he may be exalted in due time. Cast in what? Casting oh. all your cares upon him. Why? Because he cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, yes. because the adversary, the devil, walks about as a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. Uh -huh. So we've studied this before, but be careful of the words you speak. Yeah. Because the enemy seeks, he's coming as a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. How is he going to know? By the words yeah. and your actions. Right. Right. So be careful. Amen. He's telling us right here. He's seeking who he may devour. Yes. Don't let him devour you. It's time to stop. Put a guard on your words. Mm -hmm. And speak only words that are positive and not yes. negative. Yes. Amen. Sometimes we just shoot the guns, you know, because our word guns, <laughs> because we know words. Mm. Well, if you have a real weapon, <laughs> you just don't shoot it. That's right. You pick a target and you use it when you need to use it. Yes. So, our word gun needs to be that way. Mm -hmm. We need to use the word of God and speak the word of God where it needs to be applied yes. to. Amen. And you know what? He obeys his word and he will bring us bring this things to pass. Amen. So praise God. Woo, hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Church, we must remember to call the name of Jesus. Amen. He prayed always. Jesus 
call for strength on a daily basis yes. as he come and he's walking the earth with his disciples mm -hmm. he walked away from them and he went and he prayed yeah. and he seek the father ask the father i'm sure he says i need help i yeah. need you i need your strength yeah so why can't we imitate and copy our heavenly father Amen. our jesus you know and say lord jesus i need you i need your help i need your strength yeah. and he says he's with us he never leaves yes. us no forsake us He's walking with us. Mm -hmm. And he paid the price. And the price is paid for us for salvation. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we can go and fulfill what he's called us to do. Mm -hmm. The prodigal son makes the same call. <laughs> he says, I can go back to Father mm -hmm. and, and, and and live better for my father than I can do just living in this world. Living in, amongst the pigs and, and, and eating all this slop. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Some of us have gotten away from the Father, and we're in the world, and we're having some bad times. But you know what? All you need to do is repent, come back to Him, yeah. because Father's waiting for you. His Father, the prodigal son, His Father was waiting for Him. Mm -hmm. On a daily basis, He went out to check and see, is my son coming back? Mm -hmm. Well, just think about our Heavenly Father. Yes. He's waiting for you to turn, make, make that yeah. turn around and come back to Him. Yeah. Only thing keeping Him is you. You're holding yourself. Mm -hmm. Nobody else is holding you. You need to come, turn around, and say, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm casting all these things on you. Yes. I confess every sin. I repent of every sin. Yes. And I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. And you know what? He's not going to put you on the side and say, Well, you just got to sit here. You know, mm -hmm. you're not good enough right now. Mm -hmm. No, he says, <laughs> Dust off and press on. Mm -hmm. That's a good word, press on. Yes. I'd rather hear, hear him say, Press on than. Depart yes. from me. That's right. I never knew you. Yes. <laughs> you think coronavirus is bad? Oh. Worse thing than coronavirus is depart from me. I never knew you. Oh, that's Amen. Yeah. That is bad. You know, I'd rather have a relationship mm -hmm. and yes. confess my sins to him. And you know what? He already knows them. Yeah. All you have to do is confess it to him, back to him and say, Lord, I failed you. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm getting away out of this, but it's okay. I'm just flow with the Holy Ghost. Peter denied Jesus three times. Mm -hmm. He says, before the night's over, he says, you'll deny me three times. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, he was macho. He's ready to die for Jesus. Mm -hmm. But when things got tough, mm -hmm. he was going with the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he says, I don't know him. I don't know mm -hmm. what you're talking about. I don't know this man. But when the clock crowed, Jesus turned and looked at mm -hmm. Peter, and Peter looked at Jesus yes. right in his eyes. But you know what? God, Jesus didn't throw him aside. That's right. After that, Jesus used him mightily mm -hmm. twice to bring thousands into the kingdom of God. So I don't know who or what or somebody who really needs this. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the world has told you. I don't know what people have told you that God can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. If that's you, if, 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 if you're in some, well, if that's you, it's time to just repent, come to Christ. Yes. Because he's not finished with you. That's Basically, right. you're just getting started. That's it. He wants you to fulfill your mission in this yes. world. And do what you have to do for him. Amen. So, it's time. Let it go. And press on with God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm excited. Praise I don't God. know about you. <laughs> Moses, I tell you what. <laughs> Moses ready to kill himself. <laughs> he says, these people that you given me he said he's he's going to be the leader you know god is calling you to be a leader mm -hmm. but guess what moses says i ain't no leader i can't talk i'm no good mm -hmm. and that's what we try to tell god we yeah, try to yeah. disqualify ourselves when god says you're qualified yeah and god chose it and he's out in the wilderness with all these people and he told god says i want to talk with you he says <laughs> <laughs> you know I said, these people drive me crazy. I said, I need help. I said, if I have to spend another day with them, I'm going to kill myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ever been there? <laughs> <laughs> so guess what? God sent him help. But with the same spirit that he put in Moses, he put in these leaders to help out. Amen. But you know what? When he found himself in the Red Sea, here comes the army behind him and the Red Sea in front of him. You ever find yourself that way? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Place where there's no hope. 
but to look back to Jesus and say, Lord Jesus, I need you. I need you again. I need you. He saw the Red Sea, the army's coming. So what do I do? Lord Jesus, I need you. Lord God, I need you. He called on God. And God says, use what you got. He took his staff and he, he stretched it out. And guess what? The Red Sea parted. So whatever it is he's doing for you, he'll do it. Yeah. Amen. He'll get you out of whatever situation you're in. Yes. But you got to make this change. Amen. Mm -hmm. And the Red Sea parted and they passed on. They crossed and dry land, not wet land, mm -hmm. <laughs> on dry land, all the way across. And then when the army got all the way in the middle of it, I guess, the Red Sea closed again. <laughs> Drowned. <laughs> Amen. So yeah. praise God, you know what? He's going to drown all your troubles, but you got to <laughs> cast it on him. Uh -huh. Another word for cast is release. You got to release it. You can't keep holding on to it. Yeah. You got to let it go. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Just a few uh, uh, stories that you've read before. It's, it's from the Word of God. Amen. The lady with the issue of blood. He says, if I could only get close to him and touch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she had to put some uh, faith in those steps to get close yeah. to him. Yeah. She yeah. had to put some faith in fighting through that crowd to get to him and touch him. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on now. <laughs> I don't know what situation you're going through. But there's hope. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's hope. Daniel in the lion's den. <laughs> we, we ain't talking about uh, well-fed lions. We're talking about starving lions. But he had full confidence and trust in his Savior and his God. Amen. When they threw him in, in, in the den, they told him, you got to stop praying. I'm not going to stop praying. I'm not going to change for no one. I'm a child of God. I'm going to do what the Word of God tells me to do. I'm going to press on in my on my mission. And guess what? They said, well, King says, you go in the lion's den. So, so be it. Amen. He threw them in there in them hungry lions. And guess what? <laughs> Lord shut their jaws. They couldn't touch him. They couldn't, they couldn't get him. <laughs> Praise God. David facing Goliath. Facing big giant problems. Coronavirus, whatever it may be. On a daily basis. What, are, what daily giants are you facing? Oh, Amen. Is it a health issue? Is it a financial problem? Mm -hmm. Marital problem? What What is it? Whatever you happen to be faced, whatever giant you're looking at, God can see you through. Amen? God can take care of it. But you got to release it. you got to give it to Him. Yeah. Joshua, the walls of Jericho. The walls of Jericho, people said, the world says, they can't come down. Well, He gave it to God. <laughs> God told Him directions, instructions on what to do. And when He followed the instructions God gave him, guess what? <laughs> Those walls came tumbling down. So whatever walls are stopping you, whatever walls are around you, guess what? Just give it to him. He'll tell you what to do. Amen. Trust him. And those walls are coming down. <laughs> Praise God. Come on. I'm, I'm preaching better than you ain't met at me now. <laughs> Jonah. <laughs> God told him where to go. Jesus told him where to go. Go to Nineveh and preach the word. He says, no, I'm not going there. He ran off and went the other way. What did he tell you to do? And you're off doing your own thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. But guess what? <laughs> when he found himself in the belly of the big fish, <laughs> all of a sudden, he remembered. Yeah. Lord, I need you. <laughs> How many times have you been there? How many times have you been there? Were you all yet? Lord, I need you now. I need you now more than ever. <laughs> we need Jesus now more than ever. Yes. That's a beautiful song. I love uh -huh. it. This is the word of God. And we need Jesus now more than ever. That's what uh that's what uh Jonah started singing there. <laughs> Jesus, I need you now more than ever. <laughs> Jesus heard him and said, Hey, I'll go where you want me to go. <laughs> well, guess what? You ain't got no choice, but that's all right. You're saying the right yeah. words. <laughs> He said the right words, and guess what? The fish, Jesus had that fish go and spit him out right where yes. he had to be. Amen. Right where he needed to be. <laughs> He's going to do the same with you. He's going to put you right back to where you need to be. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. Ooh, man, these are good. These are good. How about the <laughs> children? 
Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. <laughs> they threw him in a fire. Yeah. But guess what? God was with him. Because when they looked in the fire, they saw four. They threw three in and four was in there. So God is with you. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He's with you all the time. All the time. The apostles. They call Jesus to calm this storm. <laughs> See, where are you going to sleep? Don't you care that we die? <laughs> of course he does. But you know what? He had peace. And he had already said, we're going to the other side. Mm -hmm. And he had faith when he spoke and said, we're going to the other side. I believe we're going to get there no matter what comes up against you. Right. We're going. We're going to get there. Yeah. But the apostles didn't. <laughs> and the storms rose up. And they come to see him. Said, what you got us into? <laughs> well, no. Whatever situations you get into, God is with you. Yes. He says he never did. You know what I'm saying? That's right. He's right there with you. Amen. All you have to do is fulfill what he's called you to do. Speak the word of God. And things happen. Things yes. change. Amen. Amen. Ooh, come on now. <laughs> All right. Hallelujah. Good things happen when we draw close to God. Yes. Bad things happen. And we can still draw close to God. Because uh -huh. I need you more. You know, don't let your spiritual uh, batteries run low. Uh -huh. <laughs> things, bad things start to happen. Don't let your GPS take take you off course. That's yes, right. <laughs> Get close, back close to Him. Mm -hmm. And start back on the, on the right track. Yes. Amen. God things happen when we draw close to Him. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank Praise you, God. Praise you know, God. I give Him all the praise and all the yes. glory. Because He's going to use you. And people are going to come and pat you on the back. And say, wow, that was great, brother. That was great, sister. Well, praise praise, praise God. Mm -hmm. It was because of Him. Yes. Amen. Good things happen. Good things. Again. James 4, 7, and 8. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Surrender yourself to Him. Yes. And place yourself in total, totally in His hands. Uh -huh. We sang a beautiful song this morning. I surrender all. That's what we need to do on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Surrender ourselves totally to Him. On a daily basis. Surrender yourself to Him. Yes. It says, Lord, this is You. I surrender myself to You. Mm -hmm. Use me as You want to use me. Yes. Amen. Ooh, Come amen. on now. In verse 8. In uh, the eighth portion here, draw close to God, and He'll draw close to you. Let your hearts desire. Repeat the song title we sang this morning. Another beautiful song we sang this morning. Draw close to Him. Draw close to God. Amen. And He'll draw close to you. Yes. Ooh, God expects us to draw close to Him on a daily basis. We do our part. He's already done His part. Yeah. But He said, "If you do your part, I'll do my part." Mm -hmm. But he's already done. Yes. He's just waiting on us to do something. Yes, you know, if you're standing there, sitting there for four, five, six, or whatever, 10, 20 years, and say, well, I'm waiting on God, mm. we got a problem. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think God has a problem. We have a problem. Yeah. Because we're still waiting on Him. Yeah. He's done what He has to do. Yeah. He's waiting on us to get busy. Amen. Have faith and step out yeah. and do. Amen. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> Proverbs 3, 30 and 32 says, New Living Translation, New Living Version. Do not fight with men for no reason when he has done you no wrong. Yeah. Don't be jealous of men who hurt you, who hurt, <clears throat> who's hurt often mm -hmm. and do not choose any of his ways. Mm -hmm. Verse 32 says, For the bad man is hated by the Lord, but he is closer and near to those who who are right with him. Yes. Amen. He's going to draw closer and near to you that are right with him. So we want to stay in right with him. We want to have our priorities in order. Yes. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, oh God, his righteousness, and all these other things shall be added on to you. Amen. Amen. So on a daily basis when you get up, thank God you woke up. That's the first yes. miracle. <laughs> yes. And then after that, get your Priorities right. Mm -hmm. Seek Him first. Spend Amen. time with Him. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, we're going to be closing here soon. Since many Christians will tell you, <clears throat> they love God. They want to get close to God. Mm. Oh, we want to come to church. 
assemble ourselves together. <laughs> they want to change, but few succeed. Few take the right steps to Him. Yeah. Amen. We're still waiting. Quit using excuses. <laughs> Yeah. Some of us are real pros at using yeah. excuses. All right. We got to stop this. Amen. No more excuses. Jesus could have had an excuse not going to, uh, to the cross. Yeah. He could have had an excuse not to come to the earth. Because he sat with the Father and talked. And the Father says, I'm going to send you to the world. I want my people back. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to sacrifice you. Mm -hmm. He could have said, I don't like this. He could have yeah. said, no. <laughs> yeah. But he didn't. Amen. He volunteered. Yes, he he says, I'll do, Father, what you want me to do. And that's what we need to do on a daily basis. Father, I'll do what you want me to do. But we got to stop. Quit using excuses. Mm -hmm. Amen. And quit going to the internet and finding out which ones you haven't used. Mm -hmm. So you can use them. <laughs> Put some feet in your uh, faith to your faith. Amen. Yeah. Step out like Peter did. Well, I've never done that before. Well, guess what? I never walked on water either. <laughs> and you walking on water, on, on water is, is, is nothing. Amen? When you trust in Him, be like Peter and have faith and step out and Amen. say, hey, Praise God, I can do this. Yes. Whatever He's called you to do, I can do it. He called Moses to lead His people. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. Yes, you can. Because He's calling you to do it. Yes. If He's calling you to do it, He's already qualified you, equipped you, anointed you, called you, whatever. He's already done that. Amen. So now I've got to have trust and faith, totally yes. have confidence in Him and yes. step out and do what He's called me to do. Yes. So maybe big, maybe small, it doesn't matter. As long as you're doing it under Him, He'll reward you. He'll yes. bless you. And don't worry about what people are saying. Amen. Right. Praise God. Amen. Draw close to Him and walk with Him. Have relationship. You know how you grow? <laughs> you have a relationship. Mm -hmm. That's what Christianity is all about. It's having relationship. Amen. Religion is just a bunch of man-made rules that you never can live up to. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of God, you know. Oh yeah, way at the bottom. No, Christianity is relationship. Have relationship with your Heavenly Father. Yes. That's what we need to do on a daily basis. Visit with him. Spend time with him. Amen. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> so, walk the walk and talk the talk. Amen. <laughs> when things get tough, <laughs> the tough get okay, going. <laughs> Amen. That's you. Amen. I like that. Praise God. Mm -hmm. uh, Revelation 3.20 says this. Oh, excuse me. God loves you and he loves you. Loves to draw close to, to you. Amen. His heart desire is for you to draw close to him. Mm -hmm. That's his heart desire. You know, because he says he comes. And we're going to read the scripture. He comes and knocks. Mm -hmm. Because he wants to spend time with you. Yeah. Amen. But we sometimes, we don't open that door. Revelation 3.20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man, that's you. Scratch it, that right there and just put your name. If Jose... <laughs> says here's my voice and opens the door it says I will come to him I will sup with him and he with me the Amplified says this behold I stand at the door of the church and continually knock if anyone hears my voice and opens the door I will come in and eat with him and restore him and he with me mm -hmm. amen so we just gotta Spend time with him. Have a relationship with him. Yeah. Amen. When he's there, he's always, he's always there. Yeah. He said he never leave me, don't forsake you. That's right. Revelation 3.16 says, And then, so then, because you lukewarm, this is right before the uh, one we read. Mm. It says, uh, so then, be, uh, because you lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, mm -hmm. I will vomit you out of my mouth. Oh, boy. Listen to the Amplified. So because you're lukewarm, spiritually useless. Mm. So you know, when you're on a lukewarm stage, mm -hmm. you're spiritually useless. Mm -hmm. Because you just want to straddle the fence. Oh, you just yeah. want to stay in the middle. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to be hot. You don't want to be cold. Mm -hmm. You just want to be lukewarm. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't have two masters. You can't That's have right. both. 
uh, God and the world. Mm. The Amplified says so because you're lukewarm, spiritually useless, and neither hot nor cold. I will vomit you out of my mouth. Mm. I will reject you with disgust. Mm. This is the word of God. Mm -hmm. So let's not get into this lukewarm thing. You know, yes. we're trying to please the world and we're trying to please God. Yeah, yeah. And he already knows. Uh -huh. He says, I'll spit you out. So we're not fooling anyone but ourselves. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Draw close to him. Spend time with him. We're going to close with this. We're just going to read a few here. Spend time with him in prayer. Mm -hmm. Prayer is just talking to him. Mm -hmm. Just talk back to him. Mm -hmm. But you know what? After you pray, don't just run off. That's right. <laughs> Spend some time, meditate, and, and wait. And let him talk back to you. Yes. Amen. He's a spirit. He'll, he'll talk to you. Mm -hmm. He'll share with you. Praise yes. him. A lot, of, a lot of us don't know what that is. <laughs> mm. But we got to praise him. Mm -hmm. You know, when things get tough, the tough get going. Mm. And uh, that's what uh, Paul and Silas did. Mm. And guess what? They caught him and they mm -hmm. stuck him in a dungeon. And yeah. the guy says, you know what? I don't want to lose these guys. So mm -hmm. I'm going to stick them way down in the mm -hmm. dungeon. But you know what? Even if they had beat them bad <laughs> mm. and whatever else they did to them, mm -hmm. still at midnight hour, yes. they decided we're going to praise God. <laughs> You know, some of us, we don't feel like praising him anytime. Anytime. Oh, boy. Yeah. Ain't on us. So we, we just don't want to do anything. Uh -uh. We just want him to do it all. And he's already done it all. He's waiting on us to do something. Yeah. Can you have a heart of gratitude? Mm. Can you have an attitude of gratitude and just yeah. say, Lord, thank you. Yes. If you don't know what else to say, just say, thank you. Yes. Paul and Silas, after being beaten and thrown in a dungeon for doing the Lord's work, Mm -hmm. They started praising God. <laughs> and guess what? Jesus <laughs> says, He shows up and He opens every cell door. Mm -hmm. All all their uh, shuckles, all their, their, their chains fall off. Mm -hmm. And the jailer drops to his knees. He says, This is it. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> but He says, Don't kill yourself. That's right. We're all here. We're all here. Ain't that something? Praise God. Yeah. So you know what is the right time to praise Him? All, <laughs> all the time. All the time. All the time. <laughs> all the praise time. Him all the time. Praise yeah. Him. Cast your cares, your burdens, your anxieties. You got any of these things? <laughs> all your troubles on Him. Yes. He wants to carry your load. He wants to help you. But He says, release it. Yeah. Give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> I've shared this with you before, but when you go dump your trash in a dumpster, you cast it all, your dump, your, all your trash in the dumpster. Mm -hmm. Do you ever go back and get it? No. Release it. Let it go. It stays there. Yeah. Same thing with God. You give it to Him and yeah. release it. Let it go. Yeah. It's His. It's not yours. Right. So let it go. Yeah. It's gone. No mas. Drawing closer to God. Read, study, meditate on His Word. Yes. You know, nobody says... When you know the truth, it's going to set you free. Yes, yes. You know His Word is going to set you free. Yeah. But we have to do what? Read mm -hmm. it. Study. Meditate on it. Yeah. Amen. Don't just wait for somebody to do it for you. That's right. Amen. Well, there's a lot, whole lot of that going on, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the, the priest will do it or the pastor will do it, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, brother, sister, so and so, they do it. I don't have to do it. I'll just go and I just sit and I listen. No, you go find out for yourself. Amen. When you find yourself by yourself and in, in trouble, mm -hmm. what are you going to do? What's going to come yeah. out of you? When the word is in you, it's got to come out. Yes. Don't hold it down. But you got to get it in. You got to make a deposit yes. to be able to take it out and make a Amen. withdrawal. Amen. And every time you have a withdrawal, then withdrawal, you got to put more in. Yeah. So all the time, staying full of the word. Yes. Amen. So it's always yeah. there for you. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you. Um, be encouraged. Have an attitude of gratitude. And uh, Ephesians 1, uh, excuse me, Ephesians 5, 1, 1 and 2. And the Amplified says to imitate Him. Mm -hmm. Be Christ-like. He didn't say imitate the world. He says imitate right. Him. 
So a lot of you have never heard that before. As a matter of fact, let's read it. I'll read it to you because I've got the amplified. The amplify. But it says in Ephesians, if you have it, you can follow. If you don't have it, just listen. Ephesians 5, uh, verses 1 and 2. Therefore be imitators of God. Copy him and follow his example. As well beloved children imitate their father. And verse 2. And we walk in love, esteeming and delighting in one another. As Christ loved us and gave himself up for us. A slain offering and sacrifice to God for you. So that it be, uh, became a sweet fragrance. Amen. Amen. So be imitators of him. Some of you never heard that before, so you're still trying to be like somebody else. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to be like that. I'm trying to be. That's fine and dandy, but when you're serving God, you be imitators of Him. Amen. And serve Him. You know, I don't. I'm not the cousin champion I used to be. Mm -hmm. I don't. I watch my my words. I watch my actions, and I don't do those things anymore. So now, I'm an imitator of Christ. Yeah. And when people see me. They'll say, wow, something different about him, something different about her. What is it? They're imitating their God. They're imitating Christ. Amen. Amen. And people can tell. And they may not say anything until you slip. Yes. And when you slip, you're going to hear from people you never heard from before. No. And they're going to say, well, I thought you was a Christian. I thought you was a believer. You're so Christ-like. What happened? Well, thank God, God said, He don't release us because we sin. He says, we just go back and confess. Confess it and leave it there. Mm -hmm. Amen. Get it out of you. Confess it, leave it there, and press on. Amen. Praise God. A couple more things and we're done. Hebrews uh, 13, 5, verse uh, 5b says, for he himself said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. This is the one I was telling you. I'll read it to you. Psalms 55 and 12 says this. Cast your burden on the Lord and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. The Amplified says, cast your burden on the Lord. Release it and he will sustain and uphold you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken, slip, fall, or fail. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So remember, it's in you, you gotta get it out. Yes. Don't hold on to it. Amen. So Jesus prayed. He taught us how to pray. The apostles themselves gave the prayer. So we must do the same thing. Yeah. Give ourselves to prayer and that's spending time with him and growing with him and going with him. Amen. Yeah. So I'm gonna stop there. We're not gonna finish the whole thing. But we're going to stop there. And the main thing that I want you to remember is draw near to God and He will draw near to you. Amen. Amen. So, hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for your precious word. We receive it, Father. Help us to be hearers and doers of your word, Lord, Father. And if you have never accepted Jesus, all you have to do is say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life, be my Lord and Savior, and guess what? Just like He forgave all the others, He'll forgive you. Yes. Amen. And He'll say, Child, it's time for you to get busy and fulfill what I've called you to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. He loves you, and we love you, and uh, it's time for make a change. Mm -hmm. Start studying His Word, and start, like I said, growing, glowing. And going for Jesus. Amen. Yeah. And he yeah. expects you to do that. So praise God. Amen. If yeah. you're sick. You need a touch of God. You need a touch of healing. The Bible says by Jesus Christ you're healed. Yeah. So touch that body. Touch wherever you're, you're hurting. Or you're next to somebody. says lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover. Amen. Thank you Father. And by Jesus Christ. These people are healed Father God. Yes. Bless them. Touch them Lord. Yeah. Whatever is ailing them right now Father. Greater is he that's in us. Than he that's in the world Father God. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for touching and healing us, Father. Amen. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Amen. Whatever the need is, I just pray the Lord supplies your need. Amen. And press on with Him. Uh, it says, 
get close to him and he'll go get close to you. So yeah. praise God. Amen. You, Hallelujah. Bless me. I don't know about you. Thank you, Pastor. Oh, you're welcome. So, in giving time, <laughs> those of you that are watching or listening, it's on the screen there. Just find the uh, donate button. But it's uh, NBC. Big, NBCBigBen.com And those of you that are mailing NBC PO Box 252 Marfa, Texas 79843 And uh, just wanted to say Thank you, God bless you He loves you and we love you Thank you for joining us, God bless you Amen, Amen.